If you noticed, most of the app have a splash screen. Some of them added to get data from server, another to just show small cold animation or just plain image. Today I'm going to show you how to make a splash screen. I have created already iOS project with single view view controller and as default we have one view controller. So let's start. First I will go to the main storyboard and I will add a label in the already existing view controller. This label will say uh, hello splash screen. Uh, then uh, you need to add new view controller. The new view controller is the main screen or the login screen in your app. Uh, next we will add segue between the splash screen and the new view controller. We will click in the this yellow thing, then control and drag, then we'll add it as present module. Then we need to add identifier for the segue. We will say like um, next page. Uh, now we will return to the, our view controller dot swift and we will go to the view did load and in the view did load we will write uh, dispatch dispatch q if you need to know what is the dispatch queue you can click option and then click in the dispatch queue so dispatch queue manage the execution of work items each work item submitted to a queue is processed on a pool of threads managed by the system in a simple way our app can run the tasks in more than one thread like if you call more than one abi through network all of them will work together without block the user actions if you need to know more about the dispatch queue i'm going to share link below in the description now let's return to the code after dispatch queue we will write uh, main uh, the main is the main thread in our app this thread we use it to update UI elements after that we will write uh, a sync after and in the deadline we will use dispatch time dot now it will give us the current time and we will add the delay to this current time like if I want to make my splash screen to stay for 3 seconds I will add 3 seconds so the sum will be the time now plus 3 seconds for the execute it take closure this closure will be executed after 3 seconds as we set it previously inside this block we will write our code to change the screen so what we will do we will perform the segue that we have created in the main storyboard self to perform segue the identifier of the segue next 
next screen as I remember and for the sender nil if you want to be sure what's the identifier you can click in the segue oh next page not next screen let's run the app and see it will take some time okay now it's running we'll see hello to splash screen then our new view controller the main view controller is opening uh, it's for good thank you for watching and remember to like and subscribe to the channel thank you